All right, shalom. So first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Akar Kadash. Double honor to the apostles, elders, great millstone, and citation of the brothers, pushing his word in truth and sincerity and charity, and risking lives and freedom to do so. This is your brother, Yana Guy, coming from the great millstone, Chicago, Kent, coming at you with another lesson, Lord is edifying. As you see on the screen, you know, this is the, the plastic pollution. If I'm not mistaken, this is an update from last year. So, I could just only imagine, you know, last year's report was more than twice the size of Texas, you know, and it has to be now three times, four times the size of Texas, all right, because they haven't stopped, you know, they they still polluting the water, you know, they pollute the air, they pollute everything, all right, he saw does it to his own damn self, man. Because this is the same food he drink out. This is the same food he eats. This is the same water he drinks. This is the same air he breathes. <laughs> you know. And scripture talks about if he don't do good unto, unto himself, who would do good unto? All right. And um, this place is, uh, that's why you got a lot of animals, uh, whales, you know, beaching themselves, man. You know, constantly swallowing up a whole bunch. Now, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, there's a report, you know, of one specifically, you know, a whale beach itself, you know, but once it, they cut it open, you realize it was filled with plastic, <laughs> you know, that, that the whale drowned in plastic, man, all right, it's a damn shame, you know, and this is not the only pollution in the water, you know, you got the oil spills. You know, years ago, they had that BP oil spill that this, man, you saw the, there's explosions in the water, there's a fire, oil spill, you know, fire in the water, and this place is just completely just deteriorating, you know. But, um, I got a scripture in Proverbs 29 and 2, which says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And it's not only the people, but it's the earth too, man. All right, it's the it's the animals, it's it's, it's everything, man. All right, it's everything. And let me get that in Isaiah twenty-four and four. It says, "The earth mourneth and fadeth away; the world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defiled under the heavens thereof, because they have transgressed the laws." Changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. All right, and that's what it is, man. Esau thought he had the right way, but no, nah, he's destroying everything, man. This is what happens when the wicked is in rulership. All right, this is Proverbs twelve, fourteen and twelve it says there is a, there is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. All right, and that's what it is, man. Esau has so showed us a death style, not a lifestyle. And look what he does to his own his, his own uh, uh, kingdom, man. This is what happens when you don't follow the law, statute, and commandments. This is what happens when, when you try to change everything and think your way is the right way. All right, and this type, of this and this animals that, that's wrapped up in, in wire that tangled in all types of shit, man. All right, this place is is, is being destroyed, man. All right. Let me get that scripture in Revelation. You know, it says that he he will be destroyed. That destroys the earth, man. All right, and that's exactly what's gonna happen to his ass, man. This is Revelations eighteen, slacky eleven eighteen. And the nations were angry, and that wrath is come, in the time of the dead, that they should be judged. And that thou shouldest give reward unto the servants that pr the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and should shouldest destroy them, which destroyed the earth. All right, and that's what it is. It, the Lord is all about balance. Proverbs. Oh, let me get that real quick. All right, we're gonna destroy those that destroyed this earth, man. The Lord made everything perfect. This Proverbs 11 and 1, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just way is his delight. All right. And not only did he destroy the earth, but he's, he's trying to destroy a nation, man. All right. The apple of the Lord's eye. All right. This man destroyed everything. 
And the Lord's not going to let this man slide, man. He hey, he will be destroyed. It, <laughs> you know, not only that he killed millions of Israelites, damn near genocide, you know, but he's also this earth. All right? There's a recompense for that, man. It's, it's a... Uh, 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 um, Again, it's a righteous thing. In the book of Second Thessalonians one and sixteen is a righteous thing to the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. All right, and that's what it is. And it's not hey, the Lord's gonna put on the spirits for these animals to get their paybacks too, man. So. With that, no one's edifying lesson. Until next time, call for long like a whole bunch of me. I was shy and a bop a ball.